how did we come to adopt a blue healer puppy? What is a blue healer puppy? And what is this channel all about? Oh, excellent questions. And I'm gonna answer them in today's video. I'd like you to meet Bungie. He's our new blue healer mix puppy. He's approximately seven months old and we adopted him just over three weeks ago at the time of the filming of this video. We lost our previous pup, Lincoln the Wonder Dog, a little over a year ago. And we also lost our kitty, Nim, and her bearded dragon, Bob the Beardy, that year too. Our house has been very quiet and very empty. When we started looking at adopting again a few months ago, initially I wanted a replacement for Lincoln, a dog just like Lincoln, because he was the perfect dog. Well, the perfect dog for us. So I started looking at lab mixes, but in time I realized I could not replace him. He was one of a kind. And we also wanted to downsize a bit. We knew we wanted to rescue, so we started looking at local and not so local dog rescue websites. It became my nightly activity to scroll the puppies. There were several contenders along the way, but they were adopted by other families. I had started looking at terrier mixes mostly. I was drawn to their furry little faces and they seemed to have such gregarious and funny personalities. I know several and have been friends with them and they're a lot of fun. Then this picture came across my feed. I was captivated by his cute little face and his unique colors. I was familiar with the breed because I do yoga with Adrian and she has this kind, this kind of a pup in her videos. He was listed as an Australian cattle dog terrier mix. I didn't know a lot about cattle dogs, so I did a bit of research and I found out that they are one of the most intelligent breeds, very loyal, want to be part of the family pack, are very active, and come in a couple of color varieties that are known as blue or red healers, depending on their coloration. Now all of these seem to be good qualities that would work with our family. I work from home and have a flexible schedule, so I could walk him and exercise him in the fenced-in backyard and let him burn off energy as needed. So I filled out the adoption paperwork and I sent it in. I received a lovely response and set up a time to talk with the woman from the rescue. And I'll put a link to the rescue that I worked with below if you'd like to check them out. She asked me a few questions and then filled me in on the rescue itself, its processes, and its certifications. She then asked if I wanted to proceed, and I was actually really impressed with the organization and I said yes. She put me in touch with the foster mom and we had a lovely conversation too. Bungie, well, his name was Archie at the time, was rescued from a backyard breeder in Alabama. They believe he's a mix of an Australian cattle dog and a terrier. He's a bit smaller than the typical cattle dog. He was currently being fostered with other dogs. He was very gentle and a bit timid. I chatted with my husband and we decided that Archie would make a great addition to our family. I contacted them and they said, great, send in the deposit and your new puppy will arrive on Saturday. Yikes, Saturday. That gave us less than a week, but we were excited and ready. We decided to change his name to Bungie because it's the Aboriginal word for friend, and it seemed fitting for an Australian cattle dog. It also sounds a lot like Archie, so our new pup wouldn't have to learn a completely new name. Oh, and one of the other reasons that I wanted a dog is the health benefits. Did you know that having a dog is good for you? It's true, it's backed by science. I have multiple sclerosis and have another YouTube channel about how I live well with my MS. And you can see the video I did on the health benefits of dogs using the link above or in the description below. One of the funny things that happened once we announced our new furry addition to the family was the warnings I got about how active and rambunctious and high energy these dogs were and how I'd need to exercise him for hours and hours a day to wear him out to keep him out of trouble. He is an active pup, but so far we haven't seen anything unusual about his energy levels. He gets a walk once a day, a couple of play sessions in the backyard with one of his humans, 
and he gets free time for independent play a few times a day too. Maybe it's the honeymoon period or because he's still a pup, but so far we're seeing a pup who loves to play, but has lots of downtime too. I'll definitely keep you posted. So what is this channel all about? On it, we will share a bit about our training, a bit about the breed, and a whole lot about our shenanigans together. We look forward to sharing our journey together with you. If you like content like this, please select the like icon, the thumbs up under the video, and be sure to subscribe and ring the notifications bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Take care.